Today I'm going to be making the very trendy phone straps. Here is a picture of one and um, that's because I am actually get, uh, not getting. I have a new phone. Um, this is my new phone. Um, as you can see I've already chosen a wallpaper. Um, I got the iPhone 11 and this is because my mom always gives me her phone after we got it. It's not completely set up yet. Um, this was one of our oldest phones. It's my iPhone 8 that I'm recording with. And so that means that I will be transferring to this. But we have not transferred YouTube and things to that yet. And you're probably like, why did you just get a transfer? It's really hard to explain. I barely have anything on this phone. So there's no point in it. So yeah, it's taking some time. But I wanted to make one. So my theme on my phone right now is very blue. I love Stitch. So yeah, but it's blue and the background's green and everything like that. So I wanted to make one of the really cute, trendy phone straps because I think they are adorable. So yeah, let's just get started with the video. If I don't post for a little bit of time, it's because I'm trying to get YouTube on here, but it's probably not gonna take that long. All right, so I'm gonna be using this pretty strong string. I've already like pulled it, like pull, make sure whatever strong, or with your string, Oh my gosh, my phone is moving. Okay. Whatever string you're using, really pull on it and make sure it's not going to break. Because if it breaks, then you have your phone. This is kind of more of an accessory unless you have, like, really good, strong string. This stuff is pretty strong. So, yeah, it's kind of just for more accessory. Um, you're going to need beads. Beads are obviously the main part. So, I have some of these perler beads. I have some seed beads, which I don't think I'm going to be... Oh my gosh. This... Sorry, let's fix this angle. All right, I think that's a bit better. So I have some perler beads. I have some seed beads. And I have this big piece of beads that are all mixed up. And yeah, so we're just going to get started on making this. And uh, yeah. All right, so apparently you actually want one of these as well to for the end this isn't really a tutorial y'all like i suck at doing tutorials so this is just so you don't have to cut your string in case you run out of room all right so i've already actually secured this i'm already starting to string some beads on i'm not going to time lapse me stringing on beads because like i might want to be watching youtube or something while i do this so i'm actually just gonna string these on and then i'll see you guys when i'm done all right, so I finished the, oh my god, I believe this. Okay, my chair keeps getting in the way. Anyway, I finished the beading. Here is how mine looks. It's kind of like a necklace right now. Uh, but I didn't do mine completely random. I kind of went with a bit of a pattern, and I put that in the middle. Um, a little starfish, since, I don't know, just felt like it. <laughs> Sorry for this dog. He misses his mom right now. It's not actually my dog. It's my grandma. She misses, or he misses his mom right now. So, you know. Anyway, that's why he's, like, really sad and stuff. Anyway, so now I'm just going to knot this how you're supposed to. Um, you just, like, knot a certain way with, like, and then you'll see in a second. I'm just going to get it how it's supposed to be. Also, if you want tutorials on how to make these, there's tons on YouTube. Um, I'll link the one I was sort of following in the description down below. All right, I finished it. So it just has this little loop on the top like that. Now I'm going to put it on my phone case. But real quick, I just have to take off the case. All right, here's the case. And so I am just going to loop it through where the ringer is. And yeah. Okay, I have it on the phone case, and it looks really cute. Now I'm just going to put my phone back into here. And this is the finished product. I think this looks so cute with my little stitch background. I think this is super cute. And honestly, here's my opinions on this. Unless you have a really, really, really strong string that you know will not break... 
then I don't think I would recommend actually holding your phone like this. And the reason is, I feel like, unless you have a, lo a really strong string, I would I would worry that it's going to break or... And then, you, like, if you have it on your wrist and it breaks and then it falls to the ground, girl, it's definitely not worth breaking your phone. But it is really cute in, like, for decoration, I feel. But I think this is actually really cute. And what I recommend doing is um, matching it with your case. So I have this blue kind of rim and then the actual phone is green. Um, and then my pop socket is just kind of this, like, little kind of thing so i definitely think that um you should match it with your phone case and your background and i think it looks really cute and so yeah that was how i made my little phone charm uh, the, again i'll link um the video i was following in the description down below um and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching please click like and subscribe if you want to and um yeah um again i might not post until i get this youtube on my new phone and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching guys bye